Today, I want to practice the present continuous with different action words such as bounce, drop, throw, bite, etc. I could just have my students give example sentences or do a worksheet, but I want them to do something a little more active. I know that some of my students are kinesthetic learners, so I think this strategy will especially appeal to them. First, I'm going to break the class into two teams. A student from each team will draw a flashcard with a picture of an action on it. They must act it out and their team will try to guess the action and form a complete sentence in the present continuous, such as, you're bouncing a ball. Of course, the student acting cannot speak, but teammates can work together to come up with the answer. If they get it right, their team gets a point. If they get it wrong, the other team can try to steal that point. Basically, the game is played exactly like the traditional charades, except that the teams must form complete sentences rather than just shouting out single words. One thing I like about using charades in my classes is that it's known worldwide, and it doesn't require a lot of instruction on how to play. Plus, it's a lot of fun, especially when you get some bad acting. Let's play a game of charades. Does everybody know charades? Yes. 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 Okay, good. All right, for example, Eva, um, you are my partner. Mm -hmm. okay. I take a look at the card, okay, and I see what it is, and I don't show anybody else. Okay. okay. Now, guess, what am I doing? Mm. You are dribbling? Good, or maybe... Boring. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I am bouncing a ball. Bouncing. Yeah. Dribbling would be okay, but maybe more generally bouncing. Okay. bouncing. But, I, but I don't show him. Okay, let's try one more example, okay? Uh, for example, I choose this card, but I don't show anybody. Okay, what am I doing, Isabel? You are laughing? Excellent. Good. You are laughing. So the team B would get one point. Okay. Okay, let's please have Alejandro please come up. You're our first participant. Okay. Please pick one and just look at it yourself. <laughs> Ready? What am I doing? To her. Are you loving? Yes. <laughs> you are loving. Yes. Good job. Team B gets one point. Yes. Okay. Okay. Team A. <laughs> Rena, please come on up. He's very easy here. Please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. All right. Good job. Team A gets one point. Yes. You, you drop something. You, you are dropping something. Oh, you're clapping. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. You are... Um, <laughs> pull, no, pulling something. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Good job. That's right. Okay. You are sitting? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. You are pushing. You are pushing something. Yes. Okay, wow. Four to three. It's yes. very tight. You are catching a ball. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You are catching a ball. Catching? Catching a ball. Catching. What is she doing? Yes. What are you doing? I believe. Um, she, um, guess. she can't talk. So, what do you think, Eva? You are. You are. Ah, you are the building? Yes! <laughs> Excellent. No. So, Team A is our winner today. Wow. Charades works especially well for the present continuous, since they're doing the action at that moment. But think of the other possibilities for using it with grammar. 
You could have students act out what they did over the weekend to practice simple past and have students guess, you went fishing, you went for a bike ride. For simple present, have students act out ailments such as, you have a sore throat, you have a headache, and don't forget vocabulary. For example, if you're teaching children the names of animals, have them act out different animals and guess, you're a dog, you're an elephant. Because it's already familiar to people from many countries and requires almost no prep time, charades is a valuable tool to have at your disposal no matter what or where you're teaching.